morning everybody and welcome back to another vlog um i'm doing quite a lot of these this year and i am enjoying them um, and i know you guys are enjoying them as well i've had some really lovely comments you get to see my lovely no makeup on my face <laughs> um because i'm just working from home today um it is a bit of a miserly day it hasn't actually started raining yet it's just very cloudy and gray and i think it's going to start to rain later had a few dry days which has been really really nice um we've been able to get out for walks but unfortunately it always seems to be grey and misty and cold and then by the afternoon um we get lovely sunshine um but I don't actually get the lovely sunshine on my dog walks with Belle, which is a real shame um but yes uh I've got quite a few things today you will have seen already I think the footage at the beginning of this vlog would have been me feeding my um starter um my sourdough starter so um my husband brought this back from work a friend at work makes sourdough i think two or three times a week he said because he's got a family of five so they get through it quite quickly so um they gave me some of their starter which is really nice and i fed it last night um and I will make sure to show you and update you um, with a little video. I'll pop a little video in now of what it's looking like because it's doubled in size and bubbled up. So it's perfect. It's activated. It's working, which I'm really excited for. So later on this afternoon when I finish work, I'm going to be making my first ever sourdough loaf. Um, so you need about six hours to prepare the dough to do a, a series of stretch and folds and proving and things like that and then it goes in the fridge for 12 hours overnight for sort of a long fermentation process and then um, I will bake it in the oven tomorrow morning tomorrow is Friday so today is Thursday tomorrow is Friday and I want a loaf normally because there's only the two of us um, we've bought loaves of sourdough from our local bakery and they normally do us for the whole weekend by the time it's getting to Sunday it's a bit crusty and you want to have it as a toasty or something but um, yeah we tend to get some on Friday and then have it with lunch three days in a row is a bit of a treat because I try not to eat too much bread and too much gluten during the week because it's not great for me to have too much of it but to have a little bit the weekend's quite good especially with it being um fermented as well it's good for my gut so um the plan is to try and make a loaf every week um we currently you know the ones we buy from the bakery are five pound fifty a pop so actually buying <laughs> i think a bag of um we have a local mill like literally just down the road to us that does lovely organic local flour i think a bag of that is something like two pounds and that would make three loaves so <laughs> that is my plan is to experiment what we normally get from the bakery is a lovely seeded sourdough loaf covered in seeds filled with seeds which i really like so i'm going to sort of work up to that it's also whole meal as well um so we will see um at the moment all i've got in the cupboard is some white bread flour so i'm just going to make a white sourdough loaf this time around um so yeah that's the plan this afternoon um i've also doing a bit of knitting um so i'll take you along with that but to start off this morning i'm working and um what i'm working on is a dress for a blog post for work and some um content for social media as well with one of our fabrics and one of our dress patterns um that we stock it's the uh, davenport dress so i'm going to do some sewing on that and i'll take you along with me this morning whilst i'm sewing along um on that it's a beautiful William Morris fabric so um, I will show you that um, now
It's a little bit later now so um, after I finished sewing and doing my work in the morning I um, had a bit of lunch and then I have just made the sourdough dough <laughs> um, which is super exciting. I have to say there wasn't a lot of my starter left I only had a tiny bit off somebody so I'm definitely going to need to grow that a little bit more. Um, I might um, yeah maybe have to make something smaller or maybe I don't know whether to grow it and not make anything with it and just discard some does that make sense anyway I'm very new to all of this I'm picking up a book from the library tomorrow which has got lots of information about it so I'm hoping that'll tell me what to do but I'm so pleased that my starter has worked so well this first time around I think I got a clip of it earlier in the video with um how bubbly it was and how much it had grown so I'm really excited um, to sort of go along this journey it's going to be really great for my health I think um, to start making my own bread we are very much eating a whole foods um, diet now and we're making everything from scratch so this is sort of the next step in that <laughs> I'm hoping that this will open up the door for things like sourdough pizza at the weekend or flatbreads I saw somebody recently even made sourdough tacos um not like hard ones like soft um tacos and like I've seen other people have made hot cross buns donuts like all sorts of stuff so yeah it's really cool um but yeah I thought I would um show you what I'm up to now so basically every 30 minutes I'm gonna have to go and stretch and fold this dough for a few hours I think for about two hours it'll take me to do that all of the stretch and folds. Um, so whilst I'm waiting each time in between then I'm going to work on a craft project. Um, I am currently knitting a little daffodil, uh, well I'm knitting daffodils to make a wreath so I don't know if you have watched some of my previous videos you may have seen that at Christmas I made a Christmas wreath with knitted stars on it and uh, during the autumn time I crocheted some pumpkins and I made a lovely pumpkin wreath so it's the same kind of thing it'll be the same like um, it's like a wooden willow wreath base that I buy off the internet and then I'm gonna stick the daffodils on so this is as far as I've got um, I've made <laughs> two little daffodils they haven't got their trumpets yet um, I have made this before because last year I'll pop up a picture on the screen last year I made my mum a daffodil garland um, for Mother's Day so it's the same pattern again um, I'm just gonna make I think probably eight so I'm gonna make um, hopefully today another two in this yellow colour and then the orange trumpets and then I've got a lovely cream because obviously you get a lot of narcissi that are lovely like cream colour um, so I think that'll be really really nice to have that mix and that's going to go up on the door this weekend we're going to be decorating for Easter um, Easter's in two is it in two weeks no it's in three weeks yes it's in three weeks <laughs> um but I like to have the Easter decorations out a bit early because um I just feel like otherwise you don't really get to enjoy them if you just put them out for Easter weekend and we go to my parents on the Saturday so I feel like I want to get them out soon um so yeah um I'm gonna knit away on some little daffodils whilst I wait for um 
the stretch and fold <laughs> for the alarm to go off to do my stretch and fold um i'm hoping to document uh like the baking tomorrow morning as well um so that you can see it finished um so yeah i'll keep um you updated all throughout this afternoon <laughs> and tomorrow morning whilst i'm baking it um hopefully it will all go to plan <laughs> Good morning everybody it is the next day now um i'm not sure if i got a clip last night after i did oh beep beep um russell can you sort that out um i'm not sure if i got a clip last night um after i did all the stretching and folding then you had to let the dough rest for i think it was between six and 12 hours until it doubled in size so i popped it in the airing cupboard and it doubled in size but that was at like 11 pm by the time i'd finished so i think next time i definitely need to remember that it is very much a 24 hour process and if i want to cook my bread on friday morning i need to um <clears throat> start on thursday morning but that's fine this is you know it's all a learning curve um so yeah the stretch and fold went well it's you know um gone quite big the dough um doubled up in size which is what i wanted it to do it's been in the fridge now for um not quite 12 hours yet apparently it needs to be in the fridge for between oh crazy hair it needs to be in the fridge for between 12 and 15 hours so again I've not left a huge amount of time because I think that takes it to half past 11 in the morning and then it takes an hour to bake. So we want it for lunch. So I guess we'll be having a late lunch at like half past one when um, it's cooled down a bit. But um, yeah, it's not, um, it's not gonna be too rushed. Hopefully it'll be all right. So anyway, I will take you along with me this morning as I finish off my first ever sourdough loaf. Um, and yeah and then i think that'll be it that'll be the end of the vlog um i'm not sure it's been a very long one i'm not sure how much i've got but hopefully you have enjoyed this little sewing and knitting and making my first loaf of sourdough with me vlog um so yeah i will catch up with you in a bit
so that is the sourdough all done and it's looking really good i don't know what it's going to taste like i'll get a shot in a bit um when we cut it for lunch and show you what it looks like check that it's got lots of nice bubbles inside it and everything um but yeah, my first experience of making sourdough has actually gone pretty well. We actually have a loaf. It might taste disgusting. It might be raw in the middle. I don't know. So, But at the moment, it looks really good. So um, yeah, really pleased with that. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, it's been really nice to take you along on this little vlog, sewing, knitting, and making my first sourdough loaf. Um, I will be back next week with another video. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.